2 Peter chapter 3, verse 9. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some men count slackness, but is long suffering to usward, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. I want to start off by saying Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai. Call Halal Lai Yahweh Bashimi Yahweh Shai, which means bless Yahweh, bless Yahweh Shai. All praises to the Father Yahweh in the name of the Son Yahweh Shai. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect scattered abroad, teaching his word and sincerity and truth. Shalom. All right, I don't have a title for this show, but I'm just going to go in the spirit and read the chapter of 2 Peter, the third chapter. All right, so I'm going to start here at verse 2. It says, That ye may be mindful of the words which were spoken before by the holy prophets, and of the commandment of us, the apostles of the Lord and Savior, knowing this first, that there shall come in the last days scoffers walking after their own lusts. All right, so one clue of knowing when you're living in the last days, okay? Scoffers, and there's plenty of scoffers out there that have taken a career of scoffing the true men of the Lord, all right? You know, it says, knowing this first, that it shall come in the last days, scoffers walking after their own lusts. And as we see daily, man, you know, we see these Christ these um, so-called Christians, you know, like Vocab Malone and his his minions, his crew. You got other guys that's out there that puts there's two sin and scoffing the, the prophets, the men of the Lord. You know, they they um they um they walk after their own lusts. They make up whatever fills instead of teaching what the scriptures is actually saying, man. All right. It says uh verse three, Salakia, verse four, and saying, Where is the promise of his coming? For since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of creation. All right. So because our Lord and Savior is not here and because Esau is still ruling, in a nutshell, these scoffers are saying, where is the power? Where is your God? You know, and, and for an example, brothers already know the trailer that was put out there for the movie that they're making. They're mocking our, our power. They're mocking our father, which is in heaven. All right. You know, saying in that movie, uh, they're going to call it dinosaurs. You know, basically, we're calling on something that would never come. Something that is not true. All right? That's that's their humor behind that and that trailer. So, they're actually mocking the word of the Lord. They're mocking the messages of the Most High, of Yahweh Shai. All right? It says, and saying, where is the promise of his coming? Because the Lord did promise his elect salvation. All right, from what? From the second death. From the destruction that's going to come upon Babylon the Great. The Lord did promise them. It says, for since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of creation. You know, when you go back into the flood, you know, the Most High, before the flood, he destroyed the world. Because it was a lot of abominations, it was a lot of wickedness going on, senseless murders, violence, incest, homosexuality, bestiality, you know, all, all, all of the worst, you name it. And that's why the Lord destroyed the earth the first time. So because the fathers fell asleep, which is our forefathers, all right, our pioneers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, all right, Moses, King David, you know, and the prophets, because they fell asleep and we what went into slavery they say where is our promise where is the lord's coming man there was a video with this woman so like it's a helicopter up here i don't know if it's interfering in the video he just stationed there but anyway there was a video that brothers had got went to maybe the beginning of this year <laughs> Still rolling. All right, got it, uh, Satan interfering. But um, there was a video that was from the beginning of this year, and I believe she was mocking um, IURC, and she was basically saying, you know, after this year, because all of these 
different camps, you know, don't have the understanding of the, of the scriptures, the 100% truth. They're teaching that 400 years, I believe, is this year. And she was saying that if the Lord don't come this year, all of us need to shut the fuck up. All right. That's still mockery, you know, um, in the Lord's promise in which he said he would save us and he would bring the kingdom here on earth. All right. Verse five, for this they willingly are ignorant of that by the word of the most high, the heavens were old, the heavens were of old and the earth standing out of the water and in the water. Right, going back into the flood, man. All right, but I want to stress the point where it says, for this, they willingly, willingly are ignorant. All right, our people, two thirds, man, you, you so called Negroes, Latinos, and you Native and Seminole Indians, man, you Israelites, you heathens today, because the Lord look at you as heathens, you are willingly ignorant. You despise the word, you despise truth, you despise correction, you despise Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. All right, so people, our people today, they willingly want to be ignorant, man. It says that by the word of the Most High, Yahweh, the heavens were of old and the earth standing out of the water and in the water, whereby the word that then was being overflowed with water perish. But the heavens and the earth, which are now, but the same word are kept in store reserved unto fire against the day of judgment and perdition of ungodly men so the bit so really yahweh bashim Shah is reserving the ungodly to the very end all right he's reserving the ungodly unto the very end which is the second death man okay it says but the heavens and the earth which are now by the same word are kept in store reserved unto the fire against the day of judgment and perdition of ungodly men but beloved be not ignorant of this one thing that one day is with the lord a thousand years and a thousand years as one day all right because to the most high all right really yahweh shai only been gone for two days okay but to us it's been two thousand years it says verse verse nine the Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some men count slackness, but is long suffering to us word, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance, meaning all the Israelites. All right. Those that are of the elect, I should say. Okay. Now the Lord is not slack concerning his promise, and he's not, because the Lord told us that he has to fulfill all his prophecies, man. Okay. Um I believe the Lord Yahweh Shai said um, uh, one jot, one tittle. Uh, I forgot how it go, roughly. But all the Lord's prophecies has to be fulfilled. He says his judgment is like a ring. All right. Everything has to play out its course. Ecclesiastes the third chapter tells us there's a time and season and a purpose under the heavens. All right. So each season there's a purpose of the Lord's will to meet the end. Okay, and right now we're in a time of Esau being revealed. We're in a time of Esau uh, uh, being known in the earth. Okay, and that is the so-called white people. You are the you are the East, you are the, you are Esau Edom, according to the Bible. All right, everyone well known around the world is knowing who is Edom. Okay, verse ten. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. In the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with furring heat. The earth also and the work that are therein shall be burned up. So now the Lord is describing the end. All right. The day of the Lord will come like a thief in the night. So that's why when you least expect Yahweh Shah to return, that's when he's coming. And right now the world is not expecting Yahweh Shah's return. You look at the men of the Lord. The prophets that set before you to teach Start with our apostles and elders of great millstone Okay You look at these men as foolery You look at them as madmen You know You think that there's no value There's no honor You have no honor You know, they, you know it's just men Out there in their own rhetoric but Little do you know We're telling you the truth These are the men and the messages of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai So the Lord said 
but the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. So the Lord is coming swift, man. He's coming not announced. No one is going to know the day that he's coming, man. We're not going to know the set time and day and hour, okay? We don't have that power. Even Yahweh Shai himself doesn't have that uh, knowing, that, that knowledge yet, okay? Because Yahweh have kept everything when it comes to that to himself. Because this is the Most High's movie. But when Yahweh Shai is unleashed to come off the throne sitting next to our father Yahweh, oh, he going to be on his way, man. Like this, man, in a hurry. All right, to do what? To, to uh, deliver the, the elect and to destroy the wicked, man. All right, and set the balance, the righteous balance upon the earth for good, man. You know? It says, in which the heavens shall pass away like a great noise because there's going to be a thermonuclear missile. Excuse me. They're going to be thermonuclear missiles. All right, missiles with an S. There's, there's going to be a, a lot of thermonuclear missiles being hit or being shot off in the earth. And ultimately, America, North America is going to be destroyed, man. And you're going to have other places getting hit as well. But North America is that place that the Lord called Babylon the Great. That's going to be utterly wasted, man. Made into a desert, man. That's the uh, future for America. All right? According to the Bible. According to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. It says, And the elements shall melt. With fur and heat The earth also and the works that are therein Shall be burned up So this time the end is going to be with fire The first time the Lord destroyed the earth Alright With water which he cleansed it You know Then he set forth Noah his sons Shem, Ham and Japheth and their wives And the, what bring forth the uh, uh, Nations upon the earth Now The Lord is going to destroy Babylon the Great with fire, all right, and even other parts of the world, man, all right, these, these different lands are going to be torn down, man, okay, so it says, seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of person are ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness, so what manner of person are we to be in all holy, in all holy conversation and godliness, meaning carrying ourselves in a godly manner, thinking as if we're gods, man, all right? Righteous gods under Yahweh, under Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, all right? By, by rehearsing and practicing his laws, man, okay? Keeping his holy days, you know, the mannerism about ourselves, man, because we're truly coming into rulership, all right? The Most High has given us the spirit to have a ruling class mentality, man. So if brother's a little uptight, brother's a little super serious then that's just what it is man because we're living in serious times man you know got a woman tell you lighten up a little bit no you lighten up you know right now we're really in a time of war man we are in a bitter state we're at the low right now man and right now jacob's trouble haven't happened yet but when that happened when that happened you know you're going to be brought to a low estate man and the only ones that's going to be able to get through these tough times, all right, is the elect of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, man. And that's the spirit, this chopper is up there just hovering and making all this noise, man. Because that's the sound of war, man. You know, the spirit is out there, man. We in a time where we got to hasten the day, you know. The Lord said, pray for a few days unto this place. Because we, we desire the kingdom, all right. It says... Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of person are ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness? So we got to carry ourselves in godliness form, man. Not being part of the world. Not trying to have best of both worlds. Not one foot in the world and one foot in the truth. If you got that one foot in the world, you better take it out before it's too late. And put both feet in the, uh, in the Lord's work. Because the most high ain't, you know, like the brother Kalab like to say, the brother in the camp. There's no gray areas, man. There's no in-between. There's no neutral zone where you're safe. You either with the Lord or you're not. And you had, excuse me, let me continue on. Verse 12. Looking for and hasting unto the coming of the day of Yahweh, 
wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved and the elements shall melt with fur and heat. So we're looking forward. The scriptures tell us how to how to manner ourselves in this godly conversation, man. Okay? He says, looking forward and hasten to the coming of the day of Yahweh. So we gotta be looking forward to the most high to come, man. How are we looking for the most high to come? We're watching, seeing what Esau is doing. You know, brothers are uh, into the articles, brothers are into the news, politics, following the money. You know, seeing what new devices is being out, uh, coming out through Esau or through these other nations, the mark of the beast. The scriptures say we're not ignorant of Satan devices. All right. So we got to be what? Looking for and hasting into the coming of the day of the Most High. Every day could be the day. Any day could be the day that the Lord Yahweh Shai could be coming, man. That's how you got to think. Yeah, we could put the prophecies and say this got to happen, this got to happen. But still, we got to have that mindset of, of knowing the Lord could come any day, man. You know, that's why the scriptures say, blessed he who keepeth his garments, man. You know, that garments represents the knowledge and understanding. You know, those that's doing the will of the most high in truth and in sincerity, man. Teaching the truth. All right. So it says, um, for the heavens and the new earth, excuse me. Wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved and the element shall melt with fur and heat. So it's going to be a hot ass fire, man. Okay. The most high is going to blow his breath upon those winds, man. Upon that fire to intensify the nukes, man. Even though nuclear fire is devastating to itself. But when the most high puts his breath upon it, he's going to intensify it to a level where everything is going to melt, man. Melt away, man. You know, vanish, evaporate, whoosh going you know not just things burnt to Chris all right it says nevertheless we accounted we according to his promise look for a new heaven and new earth wherein dwelleth righteousness so we those of the whole for elect according to the most high's promise we look for a new heaven and a new earth Wherein dwelleth righteousness, meaning the Lord refreshing the earth, man. Taking out the wicked and, and, and plugging in the righteous, man. Okay? Taking out Esau and establishing the government of Yasha Allah, man. Under Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Wherefore, beloved, seeing that ye look for such things, be diligent that ye may be found of him in peace without spot and blameless. An account that the long suffering of our Lord is, is salvation, even as our beloved brother Paul also, according to the wisdom given unto him, have written unto you, as also in all his epistles, speaking in them of these things, and which are some things hard to be understood, which they that are unlearned and unstable rest, as they do also the other scriptures unto their own destruction. You see? Because if the Most High blinded them, they're going to wrestle the scriptures, man. And while they were wrestling the scriptures, like Vocat Malone, you know, Cherry Love and the rest of them minions, I don't even want to say their names, man. You know who you are, them scoffers, man. They wrestle the scriptures because they, rest, they, 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 they want to wrestle with the prophets. They want the prophets, the men of the Lord, to change their doctrine, you know. But it's not happening, all right. It's not happening, man. This truth is going to be told, man. This truth is going to be said, you know, until the Lord close up the doors of the prophets, which is their mouths, man. He closed up their mouths, man. All right. And stopped them from coming out and speaking the truth. Then it's ball game, man. You know, so it says, which they that are unlearned and unstable rest as they do also the other scriptures unto their own destruction, man. Ye therefore, beloved, seeing ye know these things before. Beware lest ye also being led away with the error of the wicked. Fall from your own steadfastness. So we got to be careful of Satan. We don't want to fall in the error, you know, and fall off our lot. You know, you, you getting weak. Probably don't know what videos to do. You got to fast, man. You got to pray. It's all about faith at the end of the day. We do all these shows in faith, man. You know, brothers each and every day wake up. You know, the brothers that are, you know, doing the works that are on fire. Brothers just wake up and got the Lord on their mind, man. 
what lesson I could do today? What, what did I put out? What did I see? What did I go through? Because that's how I, I do my lessons, man. And I just share with brothers, you know, I, I don't really plan too much. It's no planning, you know. If I meditate, it's just I'm sitting there. I may be, um, if I'm meditating, I'm sitting there and thinking of scriptures, then I might got a, I got a topic. I might got a, uh, I might got some, a point where I want to go. And then I just start getting precepts. Then I put them together, and through the Spirit, the Lord controls my mouth to speak, hopefully to edify, man. You know? So or if it's not that meditation, then it's what I'm going through. Or who I talked to today. What was the Spirit when people, con you know, talking to me? And it and it seems like um, being that we in this truth and we, we, we do this work faithfully, some of these people we in contact with, they don't even know that you went to the Bible. But somehow... They talking to you about the Bible It's like This person don't even know you're a prophet They don't even know you out there teaching But somehow The most high get brought up The Bible get brought up And then what You know You start just pouring Some things start pouring out You don't tell everybody every, every little thing But you you know Tell them something You know give them some truth if you if you would You know Hit them with a couple of scriptures, make them make their mind think. The Lord said his word quick and powerful. So as soon as you shoot a few scriptures, their mind start, you know, they start wondering, you know. Or they demons, they just get cut, man. The hell with them. But, you know, not to venture off into a rant. But like I said, man, it's just the spirit, man. It's just the spirit, man. Sometimes we do videos on personally me, you know, I do a video on uh what I'm going through, who I talk to today, you know, what what hat what's what's my situation. You know, and that's it, man. That's all you could do. It's an act of faith, man. That's all it is, man. You know, and hopefully through the videos and the experience the Lord gives us and the wisdom, the knowledge, understanding, wisdom, you know, may brothers be edified, man. And and their, and their faith getting uh, uh, intensified and, and be motivated more in the Lord. It's all about being motivated for the Lord. You know, you know, you if you work out. If you're motivated to work out every day, you got a goal, you want to lose some weight, or you want to get a healthy body, you got to have that same energy toward your how about you, shy, man. But you just got to be at a pace and a balance, man. That's it. You know, we're in a race, but this race is like a marathon. It's not a 40-yard dash, man. It's a marathon, man. It's, it's all about who endures all the way to the end, man. And we're all going to be truly tested when that fire get pressed against us, man. When we get changed into a low state. When we got to be out here on our own and really just believe and, and cry out to Yahweh Bashem Shai. When the phones get cut off, when a famine, a food and water, when it's going to be a fight, when seeing people, your neighbors, anarchy and shit, man. Yeah, shit going to get real, man. It's going to get real. And I'm telling you, your first enemies is going to be your neighbors, man. Wherever you live or wherever you may be at. These people out here is just missile food, man. The scriptures and uh, what it tells you in uh, Apocrypha, I believe in Second Edges. Uh, it tells you they were their lives were they were born in vain, man. They must know it after day after death by pain, man. So these people, when shit get crazy, oh, they gonna get crazy. Look how crazy they done got over, uh, you know, the Popeye's chicken sandwich, man. And it's not even a uh, famine yet, man. You know. All right, I'm gonna continue on and finish it up. This is um. Second Peter chapter three, verse seventeen. Ye therefore, beloved, seeing ye know these things before, beware lest ye also being led away with the error of wicked of the wicked, fall from your own steadfastness. But grow in grace. And that was a key word, man. Grow in grace. You know, we all need to grow. I need to grow. You know, we're not perfect, but we strive. So it says, grow in grace and in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai Mashiach, to him be glory both now and forever to walk. Okay? So, you know, we really truly have to be in a healthy mindset, man. A positive mindset, motivated in the truth, continuing to push because there's scoffers out here, man. You don't want to get your uh, spirit snared with a hot iron, man. You know, it's seducing spirits out here. And if you weak, you know, that you need to pray and fast, man. All right. I know the lesson kind of shift from the topic, but I didn't really have a topic. 
So I hope, you know, what's been said in the video is edifying to those of the hopeful elect. You know, put the Lord first, man. Because that's all that matters at the end of the day. Fuck a business. You know, fuck, fuck a, 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 a job. You know, shit the hell with everything, man. Because at the end of the day, you're going to want to save. You got to save yourself, man. You know, you can't really control nothing that dies around you, man. If the Most High doesn't save it and have it up among your lot, then it's dead, man. What you going to do? Cry about it and bitch about it? All you can do is save yourself. And that's the God knows truth, man. Now, we, we want to save our loved ones and things like that. Well, guess what? If you want to save your loved ones, teach the truth. May the Most High have mercy on you and your loved ones, man. Because physically, we can save nobody. All we can do is give you the word, man. You know, these women, they want pleasure. They want attention. Ah, man, at the end of the day, it ain't all about sex, man. It ain't all about that, man. It's about having the knowledge and wisdom for the stability of our times, man. Because at the end, you ain't going to be having sex, you know, laid up in a house, boo-loving. You're going to be trying to survive, man. All right? Until the Lord, you know, if the Lord allow your lot to be what? You know, fulfilling Isaiah 4 and 1, you know? And I'm pretty sure with my speculation, fulfilling Isaiah 4 and 1, it's going to be some... You know, rough sex when that time happened, man. It's just gonna be a pop, and that's it. Just to claim you, just to make sure you're mine. I doubt if you be, you know, have the time to be laid up, and 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 uh, you know how you do now with your woman. Fulfilling Isaiah four and one, I'm pretty sure the brother just going, hey, you mind? Pop, boom, keep moving, man. Because why? We're in a time of war, man. So with that, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakodash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect. Shalom.